In previous videos we've looked at the mast rake and the setup of the rig uh, and a question was asked of why are we doing this? What effect does it have? Well that's a very good question. Uh, I will try to answer that now in the sort of technical terms that I understand which is fairly basic. Uh, so let's have a look. So how do you find the right rake? Well what I would suggest is first of all make sure that your foils are lined up because it might be that the rudder and the centreboard are not totally in line and this can cause a bit of drag. Put the boat on its side or upside down and just look along the hull line uh, with the rudder on and centreboard down obviously and just make sure the foils are lined up. Now there's not much you can do with the centreboard if that isn't true uh, but you might be able to adjust the rudder blade a little bit maybe moving the pintle slightly uh, to get everything lined up. Uh, if the, the the centre board and the rudder blade are not in line then you're going to induce some drag and slow yourself down a bit. So that's the first thing to do. All of this is really about drag and reducing drag. The more you turn the rudder the more effect it has as a brake and it slows you down. So you want to keep the rudder absolutely straight if you can. Set your boat up using the information on the GRAD website and also from the previous videos that we've done and had a look at a week or so ago. Go out sailing in a moderate breeze. Now when you're doing this it's extremely important to keep the boat flat. If you don't then there's a degree of weather or lee helm depending on whether you're heeling the boat one way or the other. You then let go of the rudder. Seems a strange thing to do but you do that and you see what happens to the boat. If the boat rounds up into the wind you have a little bit of something called weather helm. If the boat bears away from the wind, then you have something called lee helm. If the boat fortuitously goes in a straight line, which mine doesn't, but if you can do that, then you have a neutral helm, and that's the ideal setup. Because there is no drag. The other two induce drag and slow the boat down, so you want to get rid of those. So go ashore. If you have weather helm, the mast is too raked. So you, you take the position that it's in and you reduce that rake, make the, the mast a little bit more upright. If you had lee helm, which is fairly unlikely, but if you had lee helm, um, it's very unlikely, uh, then your mast is too upright and you need to induce some rake to reduce that. So you make your adjustments, you go back out on the water again. So go close hauled, keep the boat flat, let go of the rudder again, see what happens. And you just repeat the process until you get the setup that you want. Now, neutral helm sounds a wonderful thing to have, but actually it, it gives no feel to the helmsman at all. So it might be that you want to sacrifice a little bit of drag for a little bit of feel on the helm. And that may be the ideal situation for you. But remember, keep the boat flat. If you have a weather helm, the chances are that your boat isn't flat is nothing actually to do with your rake but check and see check 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 and adjust check and adjust until you get the, the perfect setup for you and that's it so that is why we may want to change the rake of the mast or maybe have the mast at the ideal position so that it reduces drag and the boat goes in a straight line and you go fast which is what it's all about okay i hope that helps